Reynolds had another solid season in 2017 as they won five games and won a playoff game over Iroquois before falling to Piata Boy runner-up Wilmington in the playoffs. The Raiders will have to rebuild their rushing attack after graduating Austin Carrera and Cole Matthews. Carrera ran for 1,100 yards and 10 touchdowns, and Matthews ran for 528 yards and 9 touchdowns. Another big loss is Bryce McCloskey, who got injured last year, came back, and got injured again over the summer and will be lost for the season. He was going to be the starting quarterback for the Raiders this year. Among the returning players is Chance Westover at tight end, who could play several positions, along with center Evan Miller, running back Cole Toy, offensive lineman Hunter Jones, and Wyatt Owen. On defense, Derek Skihan's back at defensive tackle, Westover at defensive end, Toy at linebacker, Jordan DeCarmen at safety, and Sean O'Hara at safety. Sean O'Hara might be the starting quarterback this season, as Reynolds looks to keep a high-level play in their program. The Raiders drop down the class one day in the offseason and will be in Region 1 with other Mercer County powerhouses like Farrell and West Middlesex. If Reynolds can get their quarterback on track and find some new rushers to take over, they could be a tough team to beat this season. Very important, like every other team. But uh, I feel like our seniors really, really, really try to like push our younger kids to get them better, so that when we graduate, they can just step right into our, our shoes and fill our spots and be the team to just more victories. Um, we're looking to make it to the D10 finals and beat whoever's there. Oh, definitely. We're uh, definitely the ones who lead the way. We're definitely ones who make the holes for the linebackers. I mean, the running backs. Make sure they get through, get the touchdowns. Uh, definitely make it out of playoffs, maybe to D10 finals. Uh, definitely teamwork. We need to come back as a team, come together. Definitely a lot of leaders. We need leaders, definitely. Um, the expectations that every single year is to improve. Um, so I, I don't think it's anything less. I think we're trying to do the same thing. Uh, one playoff win last year. I think this, this year it's uh, to win two and hopefully play for a District 10 title. But it's like I told the kids, I said that's something that's going to come week to week and you're going to have to really bust your butt week in and week out to get there. I don't think it gives it any. I don't care if you've if you've won 100 District 10 titles or not. I guarantee Jared Samuels isn't down in Farrell telling his kids that hey, you won you won six titles last in the last four, five, six years. So you know what, you're good. I guarantee you, it's the it's the same thing, and that's the same mentality that I have with the kids. You know, it's a, it's a new year. You gotta you gotta earn everything this year. And what you've done in the past is exactly that. It's in the past. Uh, I think we need to stay healthy. Uh, you know we have to we have to uh, play our best game week in and week out. I mean it's 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 not any easier of a schedule than than we played in the past, except that we're playing schools our size. I don't know. I, I you know de defensively last year we played very well. Offensively our our our, um, our offense was was stagnant at times. Um, but then again we had games when we, when we our offense was was explosive. So I, I think that we have to week in and week out be explosive on offense and and try to try to hold the other team to uh, as as little as possible.